how are you guys doing today? Angel Tessie, your media mastery coach, your media exposure specialist. Um, just wanted to come in and say happy Monday to you. Hope you had a fabulous, fabulous weekend. You're super excited for what's coming down the pike. I know for many of you, summits are your thing now, right? Doing virtual summits, attending them, hosting them, collaborating, leveraging the power of the um, all of the exposure that's going on. Oh, who's hanging out with me this morning? Somebody. Did I have a call today? Let me just double check. No, who's on my call with me? I don't know. I don't know. Somebody, somebody's hanging out with me. That's all right. It's all good. Um, hi, <laughs> I just see a phone number. I just see a phone number. So let's, um, let's chat, right? Let's chat a little bit and about the exposure that you guys are all having today uh, when it comes to promoting your book, to promoting your book and getting your summits out because it's such a big deal that if we are not leveraging the power of the virtual, virtual space right now, that we're gonna miss out. Um, we were talking this morning on our morning TV show about how many people are um, watching, attending, visiting, stopping by, having access to, to each other's events and all the training and all the learning, all the access we have to some really incredible speakers that are out there making themselves so available. So if you are not registering and signing up for some of these summits that are coming your way, even if you're like, okay, well, I can't attend at that time. Most of the time you grab the recording. Most of the time you can, um, uh, you know, get the, the replays. You can grab it later. You get the gifts, you get the opt-ins. So register for them. A lot of them are free or super inexpensive, far less than it would have cost you to actually show up to that event in person, right? Where you'd have to buy, you know, a plane ticket or block out time on your schedule, even if it was local, um, you know, time to drive down there, time to get ready for it. Like your schedule is so much more open and available. You can just even double dip, right? Like I can be attending two or three summits all in the same day. We could not do that. We could not do that before. And so it's pretty, it's pretty phenomenal. It's pretty phenomenal, the ability and the access that we have right now um, um, for con you know, connecting and staying connected. So super excited if you decided to do an event, right? If you're putting on an event, if you're attending events, you guys all know we have the Connect Summit is coming up this week. Um, the Thrive Summit, in fact, I, I think now I'm up to 25, 25 events that I've been able to be a part of in the last six weeks, right? Rock star, rock star right there, right? And I know you are too. So, um, but this week I really want to chat about, I really want to chat about your book. And the reason for that is because how, how much being a published author opens up doors for exposure. It opens up doors for publicity. And I know for many of you, you have a book inside of you because this is the biggest thing that people come up to me at events and say, Angel, I've always wanted to write a book or Angel, I've, I'm writing a book. I've been writing a book. I've been working on a book. Like it's been this thing. And I know, I remember I was there back in 2008. I wanted to publish my first book. I just I had this, this draw inside of me. I want to be an author. I want to write a book. I want to publish a book. But of course, at the time, I didn't have anybody. I didn't know anybody who had published a book. And, you know, nobody in my circle had published. It, there wasn't, you know, there wasn't all the resources that I have access to now as far as publishers and editors and all these authors who have walked, you know, walk in front of me. I was a lone ranger, right? I didn't have any of those resources in my in my sphere of influence, right? I didn't know anybody. And I remember one day seeing this, this um, book signing event was going on at a restaurant of somebody I knew. So there was a connection. I knew the woman that owned this restaurant and she was hosting a book signing event for this brand new author. So I thought, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick his brain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the skinny on what it takes to publish a book. And his name is Mark McIntosh. 
he was a local news caster back then and he said to me angel just write it It, all everything you're going to need to figure out along the way you will figure it out but you need to just start writing it and it was just it was a one of those little nuggets i'm sure just completely random i'm sure he was just thinking angel stop stop asking me so many questions right just stop I'm, i'm sure it was like almost more like out of frustration of you know, (laughs) chill out lady, just go write your book. Right. But for me, it was those, it was that words of inspiration that I have used over and over again to tell people done is better than perfect. Right. Done is better than none. Like just write it, take action. It's really become, you know, one of those angel nuggets that I have held on to and have now encouraged others to go out and do the same. And so, and so, of course, wrote number book number one, figured out a whole lot of stuff about publishing, becoming a best-selling author, um, marketing, speaking, how it opens up doors, the doors that it opened. They said it would, but of course, you know, I've never been on the other side of that. Right? How would I know? And I think that's a lot of times where we're at. They say it will. They say it will open doors. Like they say that the publicity will come, that the speaking opportunities, that the stages attract stages, that media attracts media, customers attract customers, money attracts money. Like they say it, but until you've been on the other side of it, you're like, I I don't know. I don't know if I believe it. I don't know if that's true. I, I don't know if I see that for myself. And so we hold back, right? Because until we've been on the other side, Right? Until we've climbed that mountain, we don't even know that it can be climbed. We don't know what's at that peak. And so we're trusting others. This is, this is why we hire business coaches, right? This is why we attend summits and go to these conferences and these workshops and we read other big books because somebody else has walked it before us. We are somebody else's guide in their jungle, right? Our intellectual property, our knowledge, our wisdom, our experience is really a guide for somebody else as well. And so so when we share our wisdom, we share our experience, we share our knowledge, we open up that door, open up somebody's, almost taking off somebody's blinders to show them what is possible. But until we've walked it ourselves, until we've gone, you know, open that door, gone down that path, come down the bend, climb that, like until we've done it ourselves, there's a little piece of us inside of us that doesn't believe it's true, right? And I can see that for you. I can see that happen for you, but there's just a little piece of us that doesn't believe it's true until we've done it. And so this is where we have to have faith and take action, right? Take that step, that step forward, that leap, right? That step of faith over onto that bridge where we don't see the next step, right? That we don't see, we don't see around the corner. We don't see in the darkness, right? We can't see it. And so we have to have faith and take action. So we're going to have faith. We're going to take some action this week when it comes to getting your book published, because having your book published is the number one way to create exposure. It's the number one way to attract stages in media and free media and platforms. It is also when we write what I call your food book, and I'll describe that in a minute, it's that love letter that gets our clients into our sales funnel. It attracts more perfect clients. And so I wonder, I'm I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring my whiteboard. I'm gonna bring my whiteboard in. So hold on, hold on a second. Okay. So <laughs> How you doing? I guess excited. I'm excited. Okay. So if we're going to leverage the power of the book to open up uh, opportunities for marketing, opportunities for publicity, we're going to use it uh, to build this, like create this jackpot where it is, um, it opens up perfect audiences, perfect stages, perfect media platforms, creates exposure, but at the same time, attracts perfect clients, right? We want to use this to be this amazing, this amazing tool. So what do we want? We want publicity, right? Exposure. Publicity, we want exposure, right? Right, we want want media, right? And we wanna leverage all that so we can get more people to say, I've heard of you, right? Get more 
clients into the sales funnel, get them into, into the castle. And we're going to do this, all right, from building our business from home, especially right now during this pandemic time, as we're trying to figure out how do we leverage, how do we, how do we monetize, how do we attract clients, build our business, how do we not just stay busy, how do we um, leverage the opportunity of, of this time that we here right at home, right? So what, what do we have to do, right? The first thing, the first thing we have to do is, I'm gonna draw this line. We have to position ourselves as an expert, right? We have to position ourselves as an expert, not as a salesperson, but as this um, content expert. Think about this, what do people, what do people wanna know? Right? What do they pick your brain about? What is it the thing that without even preparing, you could speak on for 30 minutes without having to prepare? Because this is your zone of genius. This is the thing that people come to you the most and ask you. They want to pick your brain. They ask you these questions. And, and this is what you are an expert at. Now, hopefully, the thing that you're an expert at is also the thing that you monetize, right? That attracts clients, that you serve your clients on. And so it's not so much I sell websites, but I, you know, I help people leverage online, you know, SEO to build their business, right? To create exposure. Uh, it's not so much that I'm, um, you know, health and wellness, right? I help people cut sugar out of their diets. Like I'm an expert on helping you cut sugar out of your diet. Like what is the thing that that's the juiciest thing that people come to you and say, hey, Angel, how do I? Right. And for me, it's how do I get exposure? How do I create publicity? How do I, um, you know, get invited on stages? How do I get booked on radio and TV? Like these are the questions they are asking me. You have the same thing. So what are you an expert at when we can position you as that expert? So now I'm a media exposure specialist, right? Media specialist, media exposure specialist. You can now position yourself as the expert. Um, with that specialty title, with the content, right? With the, the content expert, right? So first we wanna have you be the, the expert, right? What are you an expert at? And you guys can type these, right? Um, let's see, right? you guys can share, like I'm an expert at, this is either my specialty title or this is my content, right? That I am an expert at. And so make sure that you guys are sharing that. So that's the first thing, right? If we want to create exposure, publicity, get booked on stages, media platforms, and all of that, we have to be an expert, not a salesperson, but a genius. And you are, like, you are enough. You, we do a whole workshop, we do a whole exercise in the Media Mastery Bootcamp that helps you to position and figure out, like, how, you know, what are you an expert at? Then there, right? We're going to draw my little line over here right? Um, we have to write your media story. Your media story, right? The who, what, why, right? You probably remember this in, in English class, but the who is why you, right? Right? Well, number one, you're an expert, right? Number two, you, you wrote the book on it, or at least you're going to in the next 90 days. Right? And what positions you like? Why are you? Why are you the expert in this space? Why would I, why would I feature you? Because right? you sell something is not newsworthy. It's not stage worthy. But what are you going to teach us? What, are you, what value are you going to provide to our audience? And so there's the, the you, right? Why you? Or the who, right? The why you is the who. You know, what, right? What are you going to teach us? What are the top three things that you share that we're going to get from hearing you on on this on this stage in this media interview on this feature right on this podcast on this summit what are the top three things that you bring to the table and then the third piece is what's the big idea right? why does it matter I mean, what why does why is it so relevant in the community in the world today so we have to write your media story and then we're going to take that media story and put it into a media pitch, right? A pitch, right? Press releases, pitches, media, like we're gonna use the language of media to connect with media, right? That's the first document that you have to have is a media pitch. Second one is a press release. Right? The third one is your food book, right? Your food book, 
right? How many of you want to be an author? How many of you have published your food book? The book that puts food on the table. This is the one that attracts those perfect stages as well as attracts those perfect clients. I call it a love letter, a 100 page love letter to your clients. It's not everything that you know on the subject, right? It's not everything. It's not your award-winning novella. It is, it is the sales funnel, right? Oh, that's the old one. Where's my new one? Okay. So your food book, it's the book that puts food on the table. It's a 100 page love letter to your clients. It's part of your sales funnel. It, as people are reading it, as they're reading it, they're falling in love with you. You're taking them through the sales funnel. Have you ever, have you ever wanted to have a longer conversation? Have you ever wanted to give them more stories and more information and more case studies and more results and have that longer sales conversation with them? Of course you have, right? Um, or what if they're not quite ready to buy from you today or they want to pick your brain, right? Instead of spending your time at your business building hours, letting people pick your brain, right? Send them to your, send them to buy your book, right? For 20 bucks, right? They can pick your brain all you want. Put all your juicy goodness in here. And where is this stuff sitting right now? I know you're thinking, Angel, how can I publish a book in 90 days? Well, let me tell you, most of my clients publish their books in 60 days, right? 60 days following our formula, right? The fastest one, right? This was my test, my test run. I call it the no excuse book. Jumpstart for business was my ninth published book, number nine, right? We did this book start to finish using our CPP method, copy, paste, and publish. We did this book start to finish, start to publish in three days. One, two, three. Now, long three days, consuming three days. It's the only thing we did for three days was work on the book and get it done. And I would never recommend to you for book number one to go with this process, but it was my ninth book. I'd been around the block a couple of times. I knew the process. I knew what I was doing, right? Not my first rodeo, but this gave us the formula, the template to create what we now um, put together in our 90 day media mastery, right? On how to help you become a published author in the next 90 days, 100 pages, right? Again, not everything, you know, not your award-winning novella, but your food book, the, it's a dynamic tool. It's a sales ambassador, a love letter to your client. Where do you find the content? You already have it. You already have it written for the most part. It's sitting in your computer, right? It looks like website content. It looks like blog posts. It looks like PowerPoint presentations, frequently asked questions, emails to your clients, right? You have the intellectual knowledge, right? It's either sitting in here or it's sitting in your computer. For my clients, most of the time, they have about, about 60 pages of content all ready to go, sitting in their computer, not being monetized, not being utilized, not being published, right? Not leveraging this. How would you like to say and add the word author, right? To your titles, to your LinkedIn title, to, to your email signature that now I'm a published author. Because when we're looking for guests as journalists, when we're looking for guests, we, we talk to authors all the time. We're looking for authors because in our world, you're the expert. And what did I say, right? Position as an expert, number one thing that you have to do. In fact, right, if we want to create exposure, Right? We now have to position ourselves as, as the expert, right? put our media story together, our media pitch, and we put it all inside the food book. right? And in fact, I wrote the book on it. Not only am I the expert, I've got these little hairs that are like tickling my face. Right? Not only am I the expert on it, I wrote the book on it. That's where I want you to be. And as long as you're going to be an author, we might as well become a best-selling author. So as we go through this week, and we're talking about publishing your book and creating the publicity and leveraging that book. We're going to end it with also helping you to become a best-selling author, right? Because you might as well, right? You might as well become a best-selling author. But um, when we go through Media Mastery, we spend 90 days, right, working on this, right? The first 30 days, right, we position you as the expert and get your media story put together, right? The second 30 days, we focus on the food book, right? Making sure that you've got 
um, your published book put together. And then this, the, the, the third 30 days that is where we put together it all into your media pitch, your press release and get you. But what does this do? It ends up creating publicity and exposure. And we leverage all of that. And then I made a star, right? So I don't know if y'all know, but my company's name is Vedette Global, V-E-D-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Vedette. Vedette is French for star of the show. I want you to be the star of the show. I want you to be the influencer in your space. I want you to attract clients. I want you to be able to attract those, those um, media outlets, right? Stages, so that gives you the media logos to say as featured on, right? ABC, NBC, CBS, Huffington Post, Forbes, Entrepreneur, Inc., Authority Magazine, right? When we think about all the opportunities that there are available to you, 25, I've done 25 I've been featured as a guest on 25 platforms in the last six weeks. That's just crazy talk, right? The crazy opportunity that is going on right now for all of us. But I didn't get there overnight, right? I've published 11 books. I spent two years traveling around, speaking on stages, uh, mostly United States, but globally as well. Um, I leverage the power of press releases of OPP. I, uh, I learn it, I do it, I teach it, right? I have that nice trifecta triangle, right? So I've got, you know, 12 years on the inside of being in the inside of broadcasting, knowing what this, the system is, knowing what it looks like once you pitch to somebody, how do you get booked on the inside, whether that's TV, radio, magazines, podcasts, summits, right? All of it, right? Um, I've also done it myself, right? I, I walk the walk, I set the example, I, you know, I'm, I'm out there currently helping you find stages, helping you find summits and podcasts and TV and radio, right? And then I teach it, right? Last year, we helped 49 authors, 49 authors with their book, either publish it, market it, become a bestseller, right? And for somebody who's not in publishing, it's a pretty pretty significant number, but I am in media and exposure. And I know that your book, your food book is the answer, right? It is this keystone to all of this, right? It's the fastest way, the easiest way to create the media and the exposure because it positions you as the content expert. It leverages your story, creates that media story, right? We get to put it inside the media pitch, right? She is the expert. He is the expert. In fact, they wrote the book on it. So you cannot have, you cannot be the star. Hmm. You cannot be the star. You cannot have a completed star without your food book. So during the next 90 days, 90 days from today, what is the date? Oh, well, April, end of April, May, June, end of July, right? You could be a published author. So this week, we're going to walk you through the steps on how you can leverage your book, get that book published in the next 90 days and leverage that book to attract more stages, to create more publicity, to leverage the power of OPP and do all these fabulous things that it is that you want, that you wanna do and that you wanna achieve. And I am so happy that I get to be your guide this week throughout all of that. If you have any questions or comments or you have your book, in fact, if you have your book already, you can add the Amazon link in the comments below. We'd love to see that. Um, if you're working on a book, working on a title, and these are just working titles for now until the actual book is published, uh, but we're going to go through all of that this week. And so welcome. Welcome, welcome. Please sign up for the Connect Summit. Coming up, our next one is April 29th. And then um, the boot camp, the Media Mastery Boot Camp, is coming up June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. We'd love to have you join us there and invite your friends. If you know somebody who's always wanted to write a book, always be, you know, always wanted to become a published author, this is our week of a public a pub of publishing of becoming an author exposure right for your book so cheers to you all happy monday and i'll see you back here i'll see you back here